Life hacking is the art of solving common problems in an efficient manner. And today, we've put together 10 quick and simple life hacks for you to MacGyver your way out of any sticky situation. If you want the convenience of dishwasher tablets without the inconvenience of an empty wallet, it's time to make your own. If you combine one cup of washing soda, one cup of baking soda, half a cup of salt, and half a cup of lemon juice, you're well on your way to dishwashing freedom. Mix it all in a bowl and then pack the mixture deep into some ice cube trays with your thumb. Stick it in the freezer for a quick turnaround. Empty out the container and then store it in a jar for easy access. They work great and end up costing you a lot less than pre-packaged versions. Super fresh. We all hate carpet spills, especially the greasy ones. Grab some cornstarch from your pantry and sprinkle it all over the grease spot. Let it sit and do its job for 15 to 20 minutes. The cornstarch will absorb the liquids like no nobody's business. And for cleanup, just vacuum up the remaining mess and call it a day. Admit it, we all have a drawer like this, right? Right? Come on. Empty toilet paper rolls can be quite useful when dealing with cables that have been lost to time itself. First, raid your recycling for some empty TP tubes. Gather and fold up your cables in a semi-respectable fashion. Slide the bundle of similar cables right into the tube to hold it together and then label it with a marker. With just a few minutes of work, you'll save yourself a ton of time in the future when you need to locate that special connector. Thanks, toilet paper rolls. Did you know that according to the original patent filed in 1891, the correct way to hang toilet paper is over the front? Which way do you roll? Now this one might be a bit of a stretch, so bounce with me here. If you have a leaky shower head or faucet, it's possible that your connections just aren't sealed well. Now, not a lot of people have plumber's tape laying around, but you might have some rubber gloves used for cleaning. Snip off a small portion of the glove and wrap it around the threading where your leak is occurring. Now just screw all the parts back together and fire it up for a nicely sealed solution to your pesky problem. How about getting rid of that plain old cardboard tissue box and making something more unique. Grab a mason jar and take it outside for a little rattle can action. Put a decent coat of spray paint on the jar and the lid and then let it all dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. Grab your box of tissues and remove about one third of the box while keeping them all folded up as they were. Squeeze them directly into the jar carefully and prop out one to serve as a starter. Just place the lid back on and the tissue holder's complete, adding a little style to your boring tissue situation. If you want to get rid of insects in a quick and natural way, it's simple. Mix two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of syrup, and two tablespoons of honey. Stir it heavily in a bowl and then microwave it for 45 seconds. Once you pop it out, give it a little bit more of a stir and let it cool. Cut out several strips of paper from a grocery bag and slowly and carefully run the strip right through the mixture. Once you're done, go ahead and take a paper clip and pop it through the back to use as a hook. Hang it up to dry for just a bit to get rid of all that excess mixture, and then take it outside and set your trap. You'll probably catch all kinds of things with this. Just be sure to place it far enough from where anyone will be sitting. If you have a lot of oddly shaped glassware, then you most likely know the struggle of trying to get them nice and clean. If soaking won't fix the problem, then try some effervescent tablets like Alka-Seltzer. After a quick fizzing and a few minutes of saturation, all the weird stains should start lifting from the glassware. After a quick rinse, it should be left sparkly and fresh. While stainless steel won't rust or discolor, it sure can collect grease like a champ. If you want to restore that shine and get rid of the gunk, simply place your pot or pan on the stove and cover the bottom of the pan with some vinegar. Set the stove top to high and bring it to a heavy boil. Keep it boiling until you notice the gunk starting to break off. Take it off the stove, let it cool, and then add some baking soda and give it a light scrubbing with a brush. This will get rid of any stragglers left behind. That's it. No steel wool needed here. I love making scrambled eggs, but I hate all the dishes that come with it. Reduce your dish footprint by using a cocktail shaker for your scrumptious scrambles. Just crack the eggs directly into the holder, add a little milk, salt and pepper, and party on to egg-alicious ecstasy with no forks or bowls needed. Pour out your eggs right into the pan and enjoy yourself a healthy breakfast. Whether it's your fridge or your garbage can, you've got a funky smell in your house and you can't seem to shake it. After you've brewed a delicious cup of joe, gather up the grounds and pour them into a dryer sheet for a little extra olfactory power. Tie off the top and toss your sachet right into the belly of the beast. In a few short hours, that swampy smell will subside. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, click this big old button or check the description for a link. You can join over 4 million other smart and savvy individuals who know exactly what's up. We'll see you next time.